Hi everyone, welcome to our very first ever Asia-wide University Verification Challenge. I hope you're ready with your teammates to do some fun fact checks. So our first quiz is about reverse image search. But first, let us show you why reverse image search is important. So here's an example of an actual incident. This image appeared on Twitter following the attacks in Paris in November 2015. So it's claiming that this guy is a terrorist, So and, and he's the culprit behind it. And even legit uh, media organizations such as Sky and TG24 and Italian News Channel tweeted a screenshot of the, tweet, of the tweet, and description says that ISIS publishes a photo of the alleged kamikaze or suicide bomber responsible for the attacks in Paris. So this was broadcast on a TV channel, right? Looks like it's pretty real. But actually, in fact, it was a Photoshop photo. And the original photo was basically from a journalist from Canada, and he was just showing off his new iPad. So which is why it's important for journalists, or in your case, as expire, aspiring journalists, to always practice fact checking before publishing or airing any viral content. So one of it, you know, one of the steps that we can take is true reverse image search. Now, the key use for reverse image search is that you can find whether an image has been manipulated or not, or if an image is actually older than it is claimed. So either or both of these cases can be used to present an image that is out of context. Now, one of the most widely used tool is actually Google's image search. And because you know, many people use Google, so they have indexed a lot of photos on the search platform. Now, um, you can actually use uh, on the Google image search, there's a reverse image search function. To do that, first you need to go to the site images.google.com. And then you can simply, this is a shortcut way, drag and drop a safe image in your computer onto the site. Now, for an online image, what you can do is that you can right click on the image. And then after that, select copy image address and then click on the camera icon on the Google Images site, and you will see a pop-up that asks you to choose either paste image URL or upload an image. In this case, you copy paste the uh, image URL that you have from earlier. And then that's where you can you know, basically find the results, whether the image has appeared before uh, elsewhere on Google, right? But if you don't find any results on Google, that's also fine because there are indeed other search engines out there one is Yandex, it's a Russian search engine, but it's very good with logos and architecture. Identifying these things are especially important when you have no other landmarks to rely on. So uh, what about Microsoft Bing? Microsoft Bing lets you use a real-time cropping feature, which lets you zoom in onto a particular aspect or you know, of the photo that you want to reverse image search on. And Baidu is helpful for content of Chinese origin. So perhaps sometimes you get a viral content that could have you know, originated from China, and it may not appear in other search engines, but could crop up on Baidu. So one of the tools that we like to recommend is uh, and it's called Invit. And we like to talk about Invit is because it combines all of these search engines, uh, reverse uh, image search on this search engines platform into one. Right? And the reason why we recommend Invit is that it's created with, um, in Europe with public money, so it has to abide by strict standards and it has less of a privacy or security risk than the others. So once you install the Chrome extension for Invit, you can easily right click and then after that select Invit and choose which search engine that you want to use. There you go. So this is how it works, pretty fair and easy and then once you use Invit, basically you can easily just select and get your results. And now one thing that we want to talk about is that there are also instances that you probably encounter uh, pretty commonly is that um, manipulated images would always circulate online and it gets recycled time and again. Here is an example of um, the image on the left is an attempt to tarnish the reputation of former Indian leader Nehru and numerous stick pictures have been circulating consecutively over the last few years in morally compromising situations and which we can easily debunk if we just do a simple reverse image search, which in this case, this was the original image on the right. Now, um, if you're told, you know, for example, oh, look at this photo, this is what happened this morning uh, at this particular location. 
you know, then by simply setting the time frame um, to find only photos that were online up to yesterday, you can actually debunk this because we find a lot of genuine photos that have been recycled and used in different contexts and places. So, you know, basically checking time frame is also very important. Obviously, if the photo has existed since before the incident is said to have taken place, it cannot possibly be authentic. Now, how are we going to do that on Google? We basically upload the photo on Google, right? And then after that, we go to the settings and then, uh, sorry, tools. Then we after that, we select time. And then after that, we are, you know, basically we can um, go on and select a uh, custom range. And from custom range, we can actually then just zoom in onto the time frame and select the time frame that we want. Um, and then you can modify to obtain the search results within a specific time frame. And then once you get that, you would be able to get the answer that you want, right? So now here's the challenge. So former US President Donald Trump accidentally suffered an awkward moment, or did he? Confirm or debunk, explain the steps that you took. So this is a tweet that went viral. And this tweet actually just, you know, basically says that Trump is standing outside of the church, but the board behind him say something about how we were a false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly are ravening bulls uh taken from a, a bible quote so is this photo genuine or not now you can submit your answer here on this link a uh, bit.ly link uh, slash jna underscore p1 quiz or you can just qr code the link and it'll pop up on your device immediately um, do show your steps. We would like to share the explanation in order to see whether you got the correct answer. Um, and of course, we will show you the answer tomorrow. Thank you.